wagab. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick little modification to your W204 in order just to help lift the appearance of the car but also update it as well. Now what I'm talking about is updating the 12 volt cigarette lighter port. We all know that in order to be able to charge something in your car, you need to plug in something like a USB adapter that plugs into your port and then allows you to use a USB port in order to charge your phone. There are many different types out there where you can get extensions, etc. And then there are ones that also show your battery voltage and even the current and the amping that it's producing at the same time. This modification is all about making your car a lot slicker inside and getting rid of these bulky attachments you may use in order to monitor certain things like your voltage and the current and the amperage that your 12 volt cigarette lighter port is producing. So what I have decided to do is remove the 12 volt cigarette lighter port in our W204 completely and just install a dual port USB quick charge power source but also with the advantage of having an on and off button and also a meter showing you how much battery voltage your car has at the moment so you're able to monitor your battery voltage at the same time now if you're not interested in this mod this video is also going to show you how to remove your 12 volt cigarette lighter port if you have to replace it for any reason when you buy this part it's going to come like this with the plug harness connected to it and also the little orange LED light and the cigarette lighter socket and also your cap and you want to know how to remove it this video is also going to show you how to do that so let's do it now there are a couple of disadvantages that i want to talk about before we get into this so that you guys are aware one is that you're no longer going to have this little orange led light that shines through the ashtray giving you a little bit of light I've taken care of that problem. I have just hardwired another LED light. Best thing is that it is a switched LED light. So it's only going to turn on when you switch your ignition on, thereby never draining your battery. Another thing is the ring around here for your cigarette lighter port, the insert in which the cigarette lighter port sits in, it isn't big enough to accompany the size of our newer dual USB port. In order for me to overcome this, all I did was I grinded out the inside a little bit in order to get it to fit. Now, you don't want to grind it out too much. You want to grind it out just enough so that this slides in perfectly, but you also don't want it too tight that, you know, it becomes ridiculous in order to get it in. Let's get into the video and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I went about doing this modification. In order to get started, we need to remove everything here so we can get to the 12 volt port. Let's pop up our gator for our gear knob. Turn our gear knob clockwise to loosen it, pull it down and then lift it up. There we go, put that aside. Now we want to press on this yellow tab here. See that yellow tab right there so that we can move our gear stick back. Pop up our uh, gear surround. There's just a push tab on both of them. Just push on the tab, unplug them. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect anything. Now we have to remove the surrounding bezel for our gear knob. Just pop that straight up and it comes right out. We also have to remove our ashtray lid. Let it come all the way out and then slide it backwards and it just unclips. There we go and you lift it up. As you can see, these are the four clips that clip into these parts right there. Now we're going to need a T20 screwdriver to undo these two screws right here. Okay, don't lose them. One. Set that aside. In order to remove this, you want to lift it up a bit, slide it out, push down on the back part as you slide it out. And eventually you get it out like this. And that's all of it out now. We need to disconnect our cigarette lighter plug. Now this used to be connected here, but uh, the previous owner before me removed it. Now I'm pretty sure that all it does is it slides onto a clip here. I'm not too sure exactly how it goes on at the moment, but I'll figure it out eventually. But if your clip is still on here, then all you really have to do is slide it out. From looking at this clip, it looks like it's just a sliding clip. 
So all you'd have to do is somehow slide it out, very similar to how this slides in and out. You see how this clip slides in and out and how it locks in? It's the exact same clip, just on a larger level. There we go. You just slide it up and down. So this just simply slides out. You just have to push it, it will slide right off. So now we will disconnect this. There's a plug here. Just pull that off. We have our ashtray completely disconnected. Now to remove our cigarette lighter, open it up. You'll see these two little tabs inside here. Okay. There's one there, and there's another one on this side as well. That one right there. You need to get a small little flathead screwdriver and you need to push on that because there is a clip inside there that holds the, the cigarette lighter port to the surround, which is this black part here of it. It unclips it so that you can slide it out. We'll get a little flathead screwdriver. You get your little flathead screwdriver, something really small that has a solid point. And you just want to push on this clip and you want to push it in okay and you'll see it once it goes in that's one in and now for the second one you want to be pushing it up okay so see how it sits in like this you want to push this up push it up as you're pushing down on the clip so you know when it actually comes out okay so we're going to push on this clip now and we want to push it up okay and there we go See how easily that came out? Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we disassemble it, okay? So now we've got that out, we need to loosen the surround. So if you look here, you can see that there's a tab here. You push on that, there we go. Tab in, and then the other one will slide up anyway. You have to separate it in order to get everything through because you have all of this attached and it's not gonna come through as one piece. Separate it, pull this down. Separate the first piece. So now that comes out like that. We separate the second piece, which is this one now. Push it through. And that's how we get through this piece. As you can see, once you loosen this black surrounding plastic piece with, with this light attached, you can get it on through like this. See, there you go. And then lastly, the plug. And everything is now through. What we were pressing on was simply this here. So if you have a look inside here, you can see that there is a clip right there. There is a clip just here. You can barely see it, but there's a clip here. And there's also another one on the other side right there. You'll be able to see it when you do this yourself. So when you push in this clip here, it will loosen, allowing you to pull down the surround for it. That's how you do it. Originally, this was never going to fit inside here. Okay, because it had a little lip all the way around here. All I did was I used a file and I filed it down in order to make it a little bit bigger. Not so much that it, it gets bigger than the outside, but just big enough so that it would fit this inside of it, like this. What I'm going to do is also remove this here because I don't need it. It just gets in the way and just have it like this. To understand how this works, it's pretty simple. You've got your positive and your negative. Your positive is your orange wire. Your negative is your brown wire. And this gray wire with the blue stripe is what controls the light for this here. But because we're not even using this anymore, we're not going to worry about that wire at all. What I'm going to do is use the positive and negative of my new connection, wire up another LED light, and then shine it through the back here. And um, I'll get a light through there whenever um, I turn on the car. Basically, you're just replacing the original light source that was here, which is this right here. And this used to be connected like this. This lights up and it reflects a light through here, giving you a light in your ashtray. Because we're not using this anymore, I'm going to create my own little light source as well, seeing as we already have a positive and negative wire here to use. So what we need to do is remove the wires from this plug harness. Like I always say, I don't like to cut factory wires for any reason. So I'm just going to do this in a way where it is still um, secure, but it's not going to mess with the wire clips. So in order to remove this, you need to get your pin inside here and you need to push in here. And that's what's going to push your clip out. Get this tool in, push it, and then it will come out, as you can see. So there's two clips to this. All right, there's a clip here on one side and there's another clip on this side here. 
and when you push this in it it clips into the harness so that's why you need to get a little pin like this and you need to push it on the other side so that it will allow the wire to come out okay there's another one out there we go what we were trying to achieve was basically by getting a thin little pick tool like this this is actually designed to undo wires from harnesses and you're basically just pushing it in here so that it will press on one of the tabs that lock in the wire clip what we're going to do now is create a wire that will push into that all I have done is I have created a positive and a negative wire that comes together and here we have positive and negative very simple okay positive and negative and I've used spade connectors because this takes a spade type of connection so now all I do is I plug positive into positive negative into negative and I'm just simply going to wrap that in some tessa tape so that it will keep it stuck together and I've used t-taps and I've tapped into positive and negative so now once this gets power my light will get power immediately so we'll try that out right now we'll put we'll turn my key on and look at that straight away we have power to the light and we also have power to this so that's pretty cool I will stick this to the back of here so that now I will get this light shining through like this just like that now I just used an old female t10 it's up to you what you decide to do this is basically how everything's going to connect together finally decided that instead of just using some adhesive or double-sided tape or sticky tape i'm going to just use some hot glue because hot glue is very easy to work with so you use a hot glue gun like this you put your hot glue tube in heats up comes out of this tip right here and it's the easiest product to use because it comes off really easily as well as long as you use some iso alcohol with a bit of force you are able to remove hot glue from basically any surface ready for my glue gun to heat up at the moment and while I do that I'm just going to clean the surface with some iso alcohol now once I apply the glue it will make a good bond to the surface as there is no dust or contaminants in the way preventing it from sticking here I have some tester tape I'm going to use tester tape because it looks better than duct tape or electrical tape I'm going to wrap these connections with some tester tape that way I know that the connection is going to be secure and in case it touches any part of bare metal inside here it won't cause a spark and therefore blow some fuses rip a little bit off of my tester tape wrap it around this one here so that it is covered and it will not interfere with any other electrical plugs or connectors we have our negative here As you can see here, it can't unplug. As for these, you don't have to um, put any test tape around that because they're insulated and uh, nothing's going to interfere with that. So as you can see here, all I've done here now is I've stuck this T10 light socket right here so that the LED light that I plug into it will shine through this reflective piece of plastic that used to shine light through. If you take a look on this side now, we'll turn on the car and a nice bright white light. Now we'll just put everything back together and I'll show you guys what it all looks like when it's all done. We'll put this in. Remember, it sits this way, so you're, you wanna make sure it's sitting the right way up. And that screws down in order to secure your, um, power source okay you just screw it in nice and tight not too tight but just tight enough so that you won't move around there we go nice and tight perfect we'll plug it in first positive to positive negative to negative before we put it all back together again we we'll test it one last time yes our light works and our power works Beautiful, that's exactly what we want. Now we'll put it all back together. Now remember, we have to remove our gear knob first, so put it all the, push this yellow button down, move it all the way down. 
<sighs> let's tuck our gray cable we're not using away so we'll just tuck it under here all righties now in order to get this back in what you want to do is push it down first and you want to get this lip under here first so you go like this get it all the way under okay guide your cables in and then Sure our light source is shining on through we'll put back our two t20 torque screws okay. push that in make sure it lines up beautiful that's done now we will put everything back together so we'll get our ashtray cover back in okay get this in line it up push it all the way back and just push it back more and it clips back on test it make sure it still works as it should beautiful then all we have left now we'll plug this back in both of them beautiful and then we'll put this through here like so put this back in clip it down beautiful clip this back down bottom in first so it's easier and then just push down the top look at that grab our gear knob and clockwise to loosen counterclockwise to tighten off slide that on first put your gear knob back on locks it in place that's it now put this back in and look at that perfect guys turn it back on and look at that our light source shining through right here as you can see from my hand the glow there nice white light not orange anymore and we have our dual 12 volt quick charge ports with a battery meter and it has an on and off button which is a very cool very very cool feature that brings us to the end of the video so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time guys this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off See you in the next one.